folks, what is up and welcome back to what should be the finale of Who's Lila? I'm Zach and that's Wes. Hello. Uh, unfortunately, the daemon is unsummonable for whatever reason. Uh, the game was updated and uh, daemon ain't working right now. So we're going to try our best to finish the game without daemon. Why don't you wake up, samurai? Let's do it. Uh, so normally when you start the game, uh, the daemon will say the calamity happened on thirteen eleven. Yeah, when you look November at this 13th. thing. Uh, uh -huh. Wes, I'm gonna need you to uh, back out of this, I guess. I'm gonna need you to update your entire computer to make the date November thirteenth. Ah, okay. That's a pretty rough one. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. It's really cool. I love that, but like, damn. Uh, <laughs> Panic Pangs on January 6th. Where where was Lila on January 6th? That's what I want to know. Uh, now look at the poster. Okay. Fuck. No, we might we might need Damon just to do this. Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, that's annoying. Uh, oh. Oh, hey, there we go. Please don't go closer. Stay in the corner there, please. They're all dead, aren't they? The newsletter said so. Even Father Lawrence. And I have to say it now. Lila, I won't kill any more animals for you. I... That dog was... Lila, why did you tell me to stay home that day? I'm sorry, I... I can't do this anymore. You have to leave. I don't know where. You must be just a piece of me. You're not more than I am. So why can't you just leave? Please! Uh, spooky ethereal. Spooky ghost! Please, stop with this nonsense, Will. You know, I can't leave you, but something has to change. Don't worry too much about it. It's important to keep a clear mind. It will be just like a swap of lenses in a kaleidoscope, or reels in a movie projector. Don't run from it. Just let me. No! Don't touch me! Uh, spooky basement. Oh, is this the first? Oh, no, okay. Hello, there's somebody over there. Hello. Yeah. Uh. Oh, there I am. I wonder if this is the thing where I'm not allowed to let her. Yeah, I don't know if you're me. supposed to not let her. To oh, you are being observed. You're deaf being observed now. Oh, can I? Okay, yeah, she's definitely oh, chasing after me. She's scrungling you. Now we're good. The screen is getting real scrungly. Run! Okay, less scrungly. Not even close. Not even close. Okay, you're in the tower. You're good. Oh, nope. I'll take in the elevator. Okay. Get fucked, Lila. Ghosts can't take be, the elevator. It'd be really funny to just see her like sprint up the el the stairs to get to the top. <laughs> uh oh, oh. She's right next to me. Oh! oh okay! Oh, oh. That's all right. Oh, I hated that. Okay, maybe we take the stairs this right. time. Yeah. Okay, okay, so she is at the top. I can see her there. You know. We needed some exercise anyway. Yeah. Okay, let's wait here for a sec. 
Can we bait her onto the stairs and like? Oh, go back down the stairs and then go up the elevator. elevator. Yeah, yeah. I, think that might, I think that might be a good call. Yeah, come on. Come on, this Lila. Way. Yeah. Oh, she yeah. moving fast. Not fast <laughs> enough. I can't tell. She might be moving faster than you. Nah, she's got nothing. Where is she at? Is she coming down? Okay, no, she's coming down. She's coming down. Oh, oh, are you trying to get me? Oh, you can't you get me. You can't get me. Uh, oh. oh, oh, you think, oh, you, you're going to try and kill me? You're going to try and make me part of you? You're going to try and possess my Come body? On, <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> wow, what an idiot. What an absolute maroon. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Huh. Weird. Well, isn't this such a nice place? It's the reels. I acquired the other reel. Junk reels. Okay. We'll have removed a reel. <laughs> now there's just one. Okay. Uh. Oh, I think I can look down here, I guess. Ugh! It's useless now, Will. You. You think you've got the upper hand? You're just delaying the inevitable. It's no... It's no use! Oh. Uh, uh. Okay. Okay. And that was the tower. Uh, we didn't we didn't really do a recap because we were kind of coming in late of like what our running theories are so far about things. Uh-huh. Uh, what, uh, did, did, did that do anything for you? N not really. Not really? Uh, I mean, it seemed like he was attempting to stop her from something. Uh-huh. Uh... And again, the re the reels are a uh, metaphor, or they're a parallel to maybe, like, your sense of self, or mm. your... Mm -hmm. Your subconscious self, or your conscious self. Mm -hmm. So maybe he was removing Lila's reel from his own head. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Is uh, is that that would be my first? That would be like the first thing that comes to mind. I think that's a very uh, make sensible uh, understanding of of that scene. Let's talk to you about it, though. Yeah. We just we talked just to you, but let's talk to you. Alright, pick a card. Boop! Alright, oh, I have to put my glasses on to do this character. <clears throat> Obviously. So, the trickster gets tricked, eh? You could say so. It wasn't a fair play. Will would have benefited so much from giving up his reel. What are these reels? What's on them? Just garbage you humans collect throughout your life. Memories, habits, although sometimes you get something good. Are you referring to yourself? Well, obviously. You humans still need something to see me as, so you construct a projection of me. The same way you construct projections of other people you know. 
All your identities are just silly pieces of film illuminated by the prince. Aren't you the same? Oh, I'm so much more, detective. We seem to, yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Okay. All right. I, I mean, I think that kind of confirms a little bit of what you're saying. I think it's yeah maybe a bit more esoteric than just like a sense of self, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Lila's uh, Lila's claiming that she's uh, potentially more than just. Mm-hmm. Uh, are we that, able to... that Lila, Lila might be something that's like beyond I don't know she's making it seem like she's more of a more of a concept mm. or something that has that exists beyond this isolated incident mm -hmm. and that Lila has existed before all of this happened mm -hmm. cool okay so we said we we're gonna do the lovers, right? No, the high priestess. High priestess. High priestess. Okay, we gotta go get beat up by Michael. <sighs> yeah, but Michael. Uh, we do need to get Michael to uh, push you off the roof. Okay. Go ahead and tell me what I need to do. Okay. Just because I don't want to have to redo this a whole bunch of times. Uh, oh, hi, Mike. Uh, first thing, you smile. Okay. <laughs> oh, hi, Mike. <laughs> it looked very friendly. Mike can see you're trying to pacify him. He relaxes a bit. We gotta talk, man. Well, let's talk, Mike. Was that why you were looking for me this morning? Where's Tanya? How would I know that? Uh, so this is where you smile, sorry. Oh, okay. This 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 is where all the things start mattering. So the first one didn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is my girlfriend? I'm not sure I know what you're talking about. Get that smug ass smile off your face, asshole. First she gets you through behind my back, next thing I know she's missing. A whole fucking week, dude, it just came. Can't be that you don't fucking know. We didn't have a thing, you know. Neutral here. Okay. We didn't have a thing, you know. This looked sincere. Mike is almost confused. The hell do you mean? Martha told me she's lying about us. You know what I hate most in this company? We hate rats. Isn't that so, Graves? Mike is confused. Who quit it? Martha's a friend. She never lied to us, right? Of course I wouldn't. Why are you doing this? Well, you need to the party when, you know, and I know Tony went missing with you, and that's when you both disappeared. Why don't you tell us what happened? Uh, I don't think I can trust you guys. Here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mike is trying to compose himself. Look, man, I know you've had your issues with showing emotions and empathy and stuff, and that we have our differences. But please, you know I love this girl. Please tell me what you know, Will. I don't Neutral. know anything. <laughs> just neutral. Just neutral. <laughs> Mike seems a little calmer. Really? Yes. Look, Mike, I'm as worried as you are. I know you guys don't like me that much, but we're all in this together. We'll find Tanya. What? Don't worry about it. The universe has better plans for you. I mean, this is all new. I, don't, I haven't seen this. Okay. Don't give me that shit. I'm not trying to... F I'm not forgiving you two for what you did behind my back. Wait, what did you say? I said we'll find Tanya. No, no, no. After that. <laughs> you said the universe has better plans for you. You did, didn't you? That's what she always said. You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? Fucking freak. That's brutal. So, so is that how you were planning on finding out where she is? By calling me a freak? I knew I couldn't trust you, Graves. What? So you just tricked me, you fuck? You did, didn't you? You? That's such a brutal, like, to include a little phrase that she only she would use to, like, taunt uh. him. Wow. <laughs> hospital <laughs> dr hades that's pretty insane i think he's all right i think he's all right yeah, yeah dr right. hades right. of course nuts. who else would it be oh, very a good. very lucky man though to fall from such a high roof and not even break anything 
Was he on drugs? <laughs> no, blood samples, sure, he's clear. Nothing really, not even alcohol. I think he needs rest now. Okay, right. so we've been here before. Surprise, almost right. White nightstand, it's empty. Uh... A sterile hospital room. So uh, I just get out of here? Uh, actually, yes, yeah. Ward number 33. Okay. Yeah, I remember we were the earth. in... We did this, and then we talked to Tanya. She was, like, sitting in different places. Yeah, so keep going up the stairs. Okay. So I'm going to ask you... I don't like visually imposing you. Where do you go? <laughs> well, nowhere, really. I just stop, you know? Being. Oh, must be really scary. <laughs> not really. You do it all the time, too, Will. When you lose consciousness or when you sleep without dreams. So not existing is like being asleep? It's not really like anything. Is there isn't someone for whom it's like something. Not being doesn't really happen to anybody, per se. Well, you just said it happens to me sometimes. It's very bold of you to assume that some you actually exists. <laughs> but Lila, you aren't making any sense now. I am here. I'm talking to you. Is that so? And how would you describe that I? Uh, I don't know, like... Like I'm young and maybe overanalyzing and and I really like lemon soda and I broke my knee when I was in kindergarten. So you are your personality and your memories. Is that what you're trying to say? Mm. Yeah. Okay, so like that's tying back to the whole real thing. Uh-huh. And now we're gonna talk to them again. And she's all weird. You see, Will, there's a problem with what you just said. Oh yeah? Yes, let's pretend for a moment you're right, and you really are your personality, memories, and so on. But isn't the one listening to me right now also you? Huh? Sure. And the one seeing me is you, and the one feeling all the different things is you. Let's call this you the perceiver. Uh-huh. We like to imagine the perceiver as a pupil of an eye. The perceiver may cast his gaze upon anything, colors or sounds, touch or feelings. But how do you imagine it looking at itself directly? A mirror? Oh, I wouldn't trust the mirror, my dear William. The ghosts on the other side may only look like us. So, all right, in that sense, it really can't. The pupil can never see itself, so what? It means that whatever the pupil can perceive is not it. You can analyze your memories and your personality, yet the real perceiver always stays in the shadows. One of his human names is the Prince, although he doesn't really have a name, of course. Okay, okay. Getting more things here. Also, I love nah. this comment. Grant says, well, time to do, to do a fantasy football draft while watching Save Did a Team Play Who's Lila, which I think puts me in a Venn diagram of one. <laughs> <laughs> which is really funny and probably true. Yeah. Yeah. What a demographic that we've hit. <laughs> uh, in that sense, there really there isn't really a difference between you and other people, Will. Huh? What do you mean? For you, where do other people exist? I mean, their minds, memories, and so on. In their heads? Wrong. You have no ability to see what's inside someone's head. To you, people are a fictitious creation, a number of expectations generated from their actions, a phantom existing exclusively in your head. And the funny thing is, your own personality is too. What? I'm real, Lila, even if other people may be imagined by me, my own characters. What's the definition of imaginary? Something that exists just in my mind. And where does your personality reside? I. It's all right, my sweet William. You, your memories, your mind. These are only temporary shards of colored glass. The visioner, the perceiver, the prince may only look through them and imagine for a moment that he is these shards. He never truly becomes them, and it's surprising how quickly he may look away from one to another. Remember, Will, the moment he looks at another one of them, he might think he's someone different. So she's claiming that Everybody is everybody is viewed through someone else. I mean, basically, basically, it's it's kind of like the idea of like, what's the point of the universe if there's nobody to appreciate it? Uh, yes. If there's no conscious life to appreciate the universe, and this is saying that there is somebody perceiving consciousness all the time. Mm-hmm. 
that there, there's a there's a like, person like you aren't you beyond I, that. I think it, it ties back to the the whole idea of reels it's like you and i aren't people like like we're not like all of our life's experiences i mean we are but it's like I'm only perceiving you because the viewer, the prince, whoever is looking through me to see you and, you know, they're going to turn around and then for all sense and purposes, I'm not real anymore because right. they're not perceiving through, through me at that moment. Uh, right. It's, it's some pretty heady, crazy shit. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's like the, the, the act or the act of, perceiving and being conscious of a thing mm -hmm. is not inherently your own ability i uh -huh, guess uh -huh. is what is what they're saying it is it is something that <laughs> there's a metaphysical thing that's causing you to be able to do those things mm -hmm. and when you lose sight of something that thing ceases to exist exactly. theoretically yeah. it's the the i think therefore i am uh, taken yeah, to like yeah, the yeah, super yeah. extreme right and okay and, so and I like the whole thing stairs. of like uh, is anybody else even real like like if we're if uh, like human consciousness is just what we're perceiving with our brain like maybe we don't even have bodies kind of thing uh, yeah yeah but yeah keep going up i believe okay so remember, we go up here, and then there's a wavy curtain. Yeah. Yes. And then we've met our boy Jachin. Yes, Jachin. As you stare at the veil before you, you are filled with emotions of strange nostalgia. The curtains flap in the wind, yet you don't feel a drought. A draft. I think that was supposed to be draft. Yeah, yeah. A hauntingly beautiful English melody can be heard from behind them. For a moment, you can't help but gaze at the shriveling fabric. Okay. Uh, make a save. Oh, yeah, these are the... These are the Jachin and I think the uh, the altar or the pillars in the Temple of Solomon. Yes, I think is what these are supposed to be. Uh huh. Okay. Very funny. We we just got a uh, follow from the Labyrinth Zone, which feels pretty apt for right now. Uh, okay, I saved. Yep. Uh, we'll go through here. Oh yeah, and then this happens. Uh huh. I, and I remember last good, time I. That's such a good twist of like. Yeah, it is. Oh, do I put in the? Wait, I don't have the new reel. Uh, well, it's it's all about what you choose to do. Do you, do you remember what you did last time? I took this out. Um. I guess if I leave it in. Yeah, and that, go that's somewhere. that's how you get uh the high priest ascending is to just leave it in. Okay. Okay. Do I still go on the boat? Yes. That I go on? Okay. Ugh, dark over here. It's dark and spooky. Okay. Make sure there's no pallets. Although none will compare to Scrundle. Mm hmm. <laughs> they may only look and Scrundle before you. <laughs> That was cool. Okay, yeah, here's our boat friend. So I'm get in this ending we choose to remain Lila, I guess. Something like that. <clears throat> I'll also notice the uh ore that you're using. It looks like a symbol of something that I don't know what it is. I correct me if I'm wrong, chat. I believe we've seen it before. I believe that is like Lilith's symbol. Uh, I believe. <laughs> H there is so the humming noise from the goddamn the fucking train got me there. Uh, the the <laughs> humming noise from oh. that thing. Hello. Uh, spooked the hell out of him. Getting scrundled! Don't cross the beams! Hi, Priestess. Oh, okay. Yep. 
Well, let's go talk to you. Mm -hmm. yeah, oh, forgot about you, Damon. Forgot about you, Damon. Not gonna lie. Oh, let me get my glasses. So, just who are you, Lila? Oh, I am Will's Tulpa. Okay, that was the first theory I had. Well, not the first, but one of them. He's made me after the passing of his mother to... Oh, wait, wait. No, I'm the vengeful spirit of the girl named Tanya Kennedy and... Oh, no, wait. I'm a scientific experiment conducted by Wait the U.S. government to brainwash its citizens. It says, to... there was a fucking typo in that. Was it? It said, I'm I a scientific experiment. Experiment? Mm -hmm. <laughs> or am I a metaphor for mental abuse everybody has seen about a hundred times already? Or am I a twisted incarnation of Will's dark, tormented psyche? Oh, which one is it, Detective? Hmm. Playful as usual, I see. Don't worry, Lila. I won't stop until I figure it out. Even if it means I'm feeding you in the process. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Please do, my friend. And that's the end of this one. Okay, wait, say on the screen. Okay, so what do we have still? We've got... We've done Tower, yeah, this one, it's Sun, easier Moon, to do. Lovers... Oh yeah, go ahead. sure. So we got So you you list off some ones All and I'll right. tell you if we have Have it we or done not. judgment or justice? We have done Justice? Oh. Okay. Uh strength. That I do not think we have done. Okay. No, we have not done strength. Um because, uh... Oh, no way. Do I have to do the trial or the, the interrogation again? <sighs> Not just that, but we have to kill Martha again. Oh, yeah, exactly. Oh. You have to get through all that shit. Yeah, we have to kill Martha. All right, here we go. And Speed run time. We have to we have to lose confidence and fail the thing. So we confess oh, yeah. that we killed Tanya, that we'll, yeah, William yeah, killed Tanya. Yeah, yeah. Oh, here we go. Double click instant travel. Oh, Hell wow, that's great. Yes. Okay. Tech oh, speed fucking fast. Oh, oh, load the load the roof save. Oh. Uh, brilliant. Uh, brilliant cat. Oh, nice. that's so good. Let's see what you has to say about that. Uh, I don't think we got. A oh wait, I didn't get a thing. What? Uh, no. What? What do we do? What do we do? Apparently, we have to do the mirror. No the way. We have to look at the mirror. That's so lame. No, bro. Uh. Okay. Whatever. I'm just gonna. I don't think these matter. Oh no! You you have to do what it's asking you to do. Oh, sh okay. They're actually these these. You have to be specific about these. Um, oh really? To both the dead dog and the dead enemy, you have to make sad faces. Oh. So okay. probably reset. All right. Throw up another whooper watch. Folks, do you hear that? I think it's time for another whoop, 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 whooper watch. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, so we're here. So now I just need to keep the will or the, the confidence in the, the in the toilet lower part, right? Yeah. Okay. Just be scared or sad at everything. Ooh, look <laughs> okay, at that handsome really boy. Yo, yo, uh, Wes, look at the stream really fast. <laughs> <laughs> Put little anime blush marks on him. 
<laughs> it's not like I killed her or anything. Baka. <laughs> that's good. Sometimes <laughs> funny. That's that's gotta be the thumbnail, right? <laughs> Oh no, you solved my mystery. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think this is different. We're getting it? Oh yeah, because it's so. different. All right, cool, cool, cool. Okay. She wasn't even scared of me when I... <clears throat> I killed her. I killed her, sir. I killed Tanya Kennedy. Thank you, Will. You did a good job just now. Oh, oh God. Shoo. Okay. God Jeez. damn. All that, all that for, for literally nothing. Yeah, for not even an exciting ending. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. Cool. Now, what does you have to say about that? <laughs> what? That's all it that was? What? How did this happen? Did Will turn himself in? Was it your plan all along, Lila? But I thought it ended in a different way. I don't get it. Have you heard of the Garden of Forking... The Garden of Forking Paths, Detective? Bore his short story? You don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yes. I mean, I get it. The story could have unraveled in so many different ways, and so on. You don't have to be a genius to understand that there are multiple possible routes. But which one of them actually happened? <laughs> That's really funny, holy shit. You don't get it. <laughs> they all happen. But... In alternate universes or something? No, in this universe, silly. But which one is canonical? All of them are, and none of them are. You seem to think that some of the dreams you see are more important than others, Detective. I suggest you reconsider. All of them are equally ephemeral. All of them are nothing but dreams. Okay. Okay. We're getting down to it. Uh, yep. All right. What else? What else is there? Okay, that was there? High Priestess. Do we have the Hierophant? Wait. No, oh, no. The Hierophant is the one have... I want to save for last. Uh, okay. The Hanged Man. We do have that. The Fool. We do not have the fool. Really? Okay. No, we don't. Uh, okay. Um. How do I get foolish? Oh, okay. It's the it, we go to the forest again with the reel of Lila. Uh, do we have a save for okay. that? Okay. I think we do. Oh, yes, because I told you to make a save right before we entered that. Somewhere. Not this one. It's, not it's still closer than nothing, but... Yes! Oh, my God! Yeah. That feels good. Wow, look at that! Okay, so for this yeah, one... Blah, blah, blah. Okay. You take the reel, and you don't replace it with Williams. You just walk away. Okay. And then get on the boat. Mm hmm. Chat, what is the SO, or I don't know if it's SOS, but what is the Morse code that that thing's giving out? It, oh, uh, it's listening. That will help me. Uh, oh, I missed this earlier. I'm sorry. It's finally like, get to the dollar saying, I thought you had the fool all along. His name was Zach. Got my ass. Uh, and uh, H. The Heiress gifted two dollars, saying, "How much to get the Paldean Whooper in the watch?" Uh, unfortunately, in case you don't know, the Whooper watch graphic was taken directly from Game Awards like four oh, years yeah. ago. 
they Looper kept watch is a it. real thing. And uh, we, well, friend of the show, Will of Subpixel Films, uh, ripped like painstakingly keyframed out every part of it. Uh, took him genuinely an entire day, uh, and we have it. Uh, oh, this is nice. The the Morse code says who Lila is. Who is? Lila is the mystery of who Lila is. Right. Mm. I think someone said that before. Mm. All right, that's the fool. Okay. Cool. So those endings don't actually change anything. They just get you new cards. It's uh -huh. like in tarot. This is my favorite card. Hell yeah, Detective View. Because you're, because you're an idiot. The fool. I get what you're saying. Too bad we're here now. Yes. Seems like whatever William did up there didn't really help. Still, I'd like to imagine him in some other place. As clear-minded as clear-minded and childlike as the fool. Not remembering and not assessing the junk around him. Just being. That's why you envy us, isn't it? You can't, you can't do that yourself and rely on food we humans give you. I don't envy anybody, you. There's no use in comparing stupid glass shards, even if you think one of them is yours. Okay. Okay. So just to make sure then, because somebody said they think that's the last one we need before. I mean, there's no really other room on the just, thing. Just so uh, we've got death, judgment, yeah, uh, temperance. I don't. I don't think we have. Do we have death? Yeah, yeah, we got death. Yes, we do. Uh, do we have temperance yeah, yeah, or yeah. temperance reversed? Uh, I don't think so. We don't have temperance. Okay. Uh... Yeah, it looks like there's one that will go like right here, and then one that will go like right here. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, God, what do we have to do for this one? This one's real specific. And it's a lot of interrogation shit again. <laughs> Okay, so, but it, uh, nothing else before that matters. Correct. From what I'm getting. Okay. So get us back to Hutchins. All right, yes. we're here. Uh, okay. When <laughs> you want to have everything high confidence, but when he says, now you are William Clark, correct. Be uh, disgusted. Yes, discussed at both at either. Okay, now you're William Clark, correct? Yes. Okay, discussed. So I'm disgusted here. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this is new dialogue. However, that is not really my name. Excuse me. My name is Lila. That's fucking wild to just say that. By the way, Lila. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Um, can you elaborate? Did you change your name? No. The name Lila was assigned to me by the worms of Lawrence, although I've been known by many names since the dawn of humanity. Could you elaborate? <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm just gonna write that uh, one down. Where were you on the <laughs> morning of January 6th? <laughs> A child is born, and with him come the shadowy figures. Each child has a roughly similar set of them. Some of the shadows are hazier, some take form after some time. The children never see us, but we are always there, pulling the strings. And when a child invites me in, I can't resist it. So, are you saying this is not William I'm speaking to right now? It is not. But do not worry, you know who I am. After all, you were born with me as well. 
I am the one snatching children from their sleeping mothers. I am the nocturnal queen, the one known to cast both nightmares and dreams of lust. Uh, what the f- oh. Lil- I'm- Excuse me, I'm not sure what happened just now. So, are you claiming to be some kind of demon, or- You don't seem to understand. I want to talk to Detective Yu now. Look, bud, there's no detective by that name here. Uh, let's go back to what we were discussing. Do you know this girl? Okay, is there any other let's see things here. I need to do no, 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 from here point on? Uh, Lila then cuts off Hutchins, wants to speak to Detective You. Hutchins replies, there isn't that. I get the picture. Uh, oh, it should jump back into a different line of dialogue. Okay. Of course. She's the reason I'm here talking to you. And why is that exactly? Because she looks exactly like me. And because my little William slaughtered her. William being... This boy's assigned name. William Clark. He was the one to invite me in. I see. So you're saying that I am now talking to some being inhabiting the body of William Clark. You know, Will, it's a very common thing guilty people do. They come up with these stories to clear their conscience. But it was you who did it, wasn't it? William did this, yes. But you are William. I want to talk to Detective You. I already told you there isn't a detective by that name here. So, backtracking a bit. All right, if Will did this, how did he do it? I don't know everything. He was able to tire me out to keep me hungry long enough so I didn't look through his eyes anymore. But I remember him meeting this copycat girl. The spark of remembrance was nutritious enough for me to catch a glance of her. It all happened in a room full of people. There was music. Are you by any chance talking about Matt Hurley's party? I was there too. Then it was pretty I fucking cool. I know, Matt throws the dopest parties. <laughs> then, I could catch glimpses more often. They talked about silly things, and then he must have started remembering. I saw clearly she looked just like me. Not nearly as beautiful, but I see why William could confuse us too. He thought I came back for him. He thought she was me. So that's why he slaughtered her. How did he do it? He strangled her, and... And then, <laughs> it's hilarious. He cried like an infant, this stupid guy. He couldn't take it in, the thing that was unraveling before his eyes. Delicious. So I had to step in. All in all, it was a happy coincidence. I had to clean up after him though. Cut the body to pieces. We found about a book about tulpas in William's drawer. Would you claim that you are his tulpa? The worms liked to call me that. They thought they had control. But they are no gods. You humans can't create anything new, so all you do is create artificial empty spaces in your head in hopes that someone like me comes and fills it up. And so I came. They believed it was a product of their thought, but I was here all along. I'm sorry, you'll have to stop with this nonsense. You will be evaluated by the court doctors on more time. Uh, court doctors on more time? Maybe it's supposed to be one more time. Uh, yeah, sure. After this interrogation ends. You do realize that you'll go to jail regardless of what you claim you are. This body, if you will, is going to court. It does not matter. I've already assigned my defense attorney. <laughs> he should be meeting with me shortly. It does not matter. My affairs may be fulfilled from any place. You could be dead now, had I wanted it. Well, that's a bold claim. In any case, there's no reason to con continue this interrogation. No toes and moss. It's Marvin Grossberg, obviously. <laughs> 
Ah, William Bybor, <laughs> good to see you. Oh, is it, am I talking to Lyra? I wasn't quite sure. The front of my hemorrhoids. <laughs> my hemorrhoids can't quite discern between the two of you. <laughs> the motive and the crime seem to be clear. We'll ask you to lead us through the crime scene after this, so we get a more accurate picture. Sure thing, officer. Sure thing. All right, that's Temperance Reverse. Nice. Okay. There is Temperance Reverse on the thing. Temperance. Temperance? Where is it? What? Hello? Is it not one of the cards on the wheel? Uh, well, let's go to you anyway. Oh, yeah. Maybe there's not a card for Temperance Reversed. Oh, yeah. There isn't. Interesting. Oh, yeah. It says this ending is unique in that it does not grant a corresponding tarot card. Um... Okay. Well, that's really peculiar. Uh huh. Okay, then um, just a quadruple time check. Yeah. Uh, we've yeah, got yeah, emperor yeah. reversed, empress reversed. Yep. Uh, we've we just got the fool. We have the hanged man. Yep. Uh, high priestess we got today. The lovers we also have. I we believe. have that. Uh, we've got the moon, the sun, the tower, and Wheel yep. of Fortune. Yep. Okay, so then the only ending we don't have is Hierophant. Is... Okay. Uh, which uh, we have to go to the burned out building again. <clears throat> okay. To get. So that's... So that's a normal wake up. So we don't have... Yeah, I was going to say. <clears throat> that's just a regular... We do this. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Taking out the trash. Taking out the trash at night. Hi, Nancy. And then this one is, I think, this. Yeah. Wait, like this. Yes. My name is William. I come to investigate a recent fire. That's what happened in a apartment complex nearby. Uh, I, I think you have we to lie to get past this talk guy. To this one. Do you live here? You can't... Yes, I do. <laughs> Sound genuine. I live in the third floor, apartment 303. All right, gotcha. Rachel, I don't think I've ever seen you before. Wait, let me check the list I have. Nope, old lady. Over. <laughs> I'll have to go look at this. Please proceed to your room. Old lady. Okay. And then this is where we bust okay. in. Yep. Okay. We're here. I used to call this place my second home. What happened here? Now it smells like dust and ashes. Okay, so you go into one of the rooms back here. In. Yeah. I don't think it's this one. Oh, it's... Is there another room you can go in? Uh, it says inside oh, yeah, there are two there doors. Is. Yep. Okay, yeah. Damon. Oh, we never went here. We never went to this place. Huh. Oh no, we did, but I couldn't interact. Yeah. <gasps> it's because of Damon. Damon oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Damon. You clever bastard, Damon. Well, <laughs> yeah, him saying four is really funny to me. Well, <laughs> it's like the third four. How long is this phone number? With so many fours. <laughs> My God. Okay. 
Yeah, uh, come on. <laughs> David, you're you just... You don't even know the number. You're yanking... You're yanking me, aren't you, man? And finally, it rings like, Pizza Hut. <laughs> David's like, I wanted a no one, pizza. No one out pizzas the Damon. Jesus fucking Christ. Not, this is a lot. <laughs> what Bo. the fuck? Okay, here oh, we go. Jeez. Okay. Uh, hello. Oh, it's Father Lawrence. Father Lawrence. Hey, Father Lawrence. Sure. <clears throat> who, who is it? Uh, oh, your free trial's expired. Uh, <laughs> I know it has been for a very long time. <laughs> I must have dreamed it. Father Lawrence, is that you? Lawrence. Lawrence, that was what they called the last vessel, wasn't it? William, is that you, William? Yes, yes, it's me. Father Lawrence, where are you? What happened? I thought you died in that fire. Where are you? I'm at a strange, strange place, my dear William. But we deserve this. I should never have tricked you all. My egoism has led to their death and to your constant suffering. A turn of the wheel. What do you mean, Father Lawrence? She mustn't continue what I started. I thought the Empress was the one to... Uh, Cease her, but Lila seems to be way too clever to fall victim to such tricks. There's another way. Ryibkin. Oh, yeah! Ryibkin, you that, that know. Sol that solves everyone. Ryibkin. We got Jachin, and we got Ryibkin. This was the name of your colleague, right? Yes. I was too foolish and power-hungry, I suppose, but now it's all in vain. You are the only one I wouldn't want to suffer from it. <laughs> all those other guys can fuck off. I'm only pissed because Strupnev didn't die, too. <laughs> Absolutely fuck, fuck, fuck that, that guy, guy. <laughs> Actually, William, could you be a G and kill Stroopnev? <laughs> so here oh, is the code, code you seek. <laughs> Listen carefully, William, for I will only say it once. One. <laughs> two. Four. Three. <laughs> four. It's from... Well. <laughs> desktop computer I used. You will find all the information there. Oh yeah, I remember something about this. Oh, seven seven ones. That's nothing. Okay. I believe so it was in the other room. His computer's in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweet. Hell yeah! Look at that yeah. Windows. This uh -oh. document is locked. I think what? this is a different okay, password. Let's look at this first. This document contains a single URL. Oh my words god. Of words of Ribkin! Oh <laughs> shit. Time to go to a website. Yep, here we go. Alright, I'm pulling pulling this guy up real quick. Oh, sweet Google background. Thanks. It's generic. Okay. Is there a way? Yeah. Oh, it's no, in my it's clipboard. Be, That's yeah. right. I forgot that it does that. Yeah, what a good That's game. That's so awesome. Here are the words Jesus. of Professor F. I. Ribkin. I am Professor Ribkin. 
<laughs> Why is his name spelled wrong? Yeah, it's a interesting. Which thing. one is the right spelling? Also, like... And I am here to, to rail you the truth. The science is lying to you. Bro, can we get a dark mode to this fucking website? Goddamn, Professor. Yeah, I know. Imagine if humans, rather than being the generators of consciousness, were in a sort of parasitic relationship with it. What if the consciousness was an underlying, inseparable factor of reality existing outside of and unconditioned be human brains? We know animals don't possess consciousness. How did humans come about it? And why does Professor Ribkin find the word possess to be inaccurate in this context? The existence of the hard problem of consciousness. Look here! Ah. Among other things, suggests that consciousness, in fact, cannot be understood through traditional scientific means. A correlation between electric impulses and conscious phenomena is evident. Yet how can we even begin to categorize the raw feelings? Look here! <laughs> Qualia, obviously, cannot exist outside the context of a singular mind. That is different from any physical phenomena we have ever researched. Thus, it is not unreasonable to assume consciousness to be a quality that exists unrelated to the meat machines of the brains. Hmm. Such perspective was prevalent even among the older ones, so a term has emerged. The Prince. Humans seem to have evolved an analog meat and fluid system. The, the brain, brain. That conceptually mimics the inner workings of the Prince so well that the Prince was gradually fooled into thinking he was looking in a mirror. And when he saw his reflection dance a certain way, he would occasionally think it would be fun to dance the same way. And that's how the pain and suffering of the prince emerged. Humans are on their own nothing. Humans are on, humans are on their own nothing. Simple meat machines mimicking the grand consciousness the grand consciousness, however, grants them the great depths of knowledge by letting them be its hosts. Thus, the human race prevails. Sometimes, a work of art makes so many human mirrors act the same way, the prince thinks that the work is a creature to dance with. A clear example of this, is, of this, case, a clear example of this is the case of Chet Marie, Washington Post. Chet Murray is the creator of the Data Dog. Oh, it's the Data Dog. So is a powerful pictorial agent called a meme in the modern <laughs> World Wide Web. A blurred vision of it can be seen below. Uh, I was I was looking into this. The Data Dog is very much a parody of Pepe the Frog. Of like, it was a meme image that got oh, really? by like alt right bullshit. <laughs> yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, that's yeah. what he was trying to do with this. Cute. <clears throat> It is stated in this article, what began what begun as a harmless picture was later used by a supremacist group consisting primarily of young white male adults. Oh, there we go. Its insane popularity is difficult to explain as millions of such pictorial agents are born every day and forgotten in a matter of minutes. Apart from its illustriousness, this artistic presence has had a rather tragic and ironic fate. It almost seems to have gone completely opposite to the author's intentions, ultimately killing the author by the hands of the supremacist group. This is why the image is blurred. I am not willing to subject I am not willing to be subject to its wrath. The controlled method of creating the ultra influencing works of any media. For many years I have worked with my colleague friend and low tier Redacted? Uh, Professor W. A. Lawrence. Yeah, Since we know the him. aforementioned example was made without premeditation and had an effect it had and had an effect it had due to pure luck, it is believed that media items of high ef ef effectivity can only be created intuitively. This is not true. We have been fooled, controlled by the order of who utilize the artificially crafted mimetic agents or mimetic agents in order to control society. Professor Lawrence was the one who devised a generalized method for foif, foif. wadding such works and controlling, controlling them. 
The special forces try to shut him up, but you can't hide Sue from us. Here's a link to his original scientific or er, er, gigandal. <laughs> Here's a link er, to his orgignal. Here's a link to his orgignal scientific paper. The password may not be revealed openly, but the demon knows it. Look at answer dot text base folder. I trust your judgment. Bunch of stuff in Russian. Cyrillic. Yeah. Damon. Russian. I think. Answer text. I assume this is all the same, and like all the purple text is just the same. Uh, just translated. What is this? Oh. Password is required to view this page. Oh yeah, that's us. Okay, so I need to go into the folders of where's Lila, I'm guessing. Uh, um, browse local files. Two seconds. Answer. <laughs> nice, look it. at that. Look at that. He's too good, folks. Wes knows how to play video games. In his blood. Okay. Now the real question is. Hmm. So we're back here. This is what it showed. Oh, you can't see it. The password it showed was. Oh, I'll oh. pull it up so that so the chat can see what it looked like. <laughs> Colonel was said, "This is the man who made uh, Deltarune, after all." Parasites. This is, this is the. Uh, okay. This is, the, this is what answer dot text. Interesting. Up, so. Oh uh, baby. Do you want to save the password? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! So much stuff. Uh, a generalized guide to something. Oh, oh Jesus God, fuck. Okay. okay, then I gotta zoom this in big on the stream here. Uh, oh, I got I gotta download some fun. Thanks for telling. You wanna check out Kitsune Tales? <laughs> <laughs> now on itch.io, Kitsune Tales. <laughs> Shout out to itch.io. Alright, I'm down I'm downloading these files. Okay. Uh -huh. So there's that one. Let's check out. Do the the classified the one this that one. looks like it's maybe in English. Oh, I love that it's actually a scanned thing. So this is all in Spanish. This looks like Spanish. To me. Okay, yeah, so I think Spanish. they're just in different languages. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then gra grab the classified. Well, that's the one. Oh, this is Chinese. Ah, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So there's just some different languages. Okay. okay, cool. Oh, man, this is a long article. A generalized guide to the creation of ultra-influencing works by any media. This paper aims to provide a reliable guide intended to be used by the consequent leader of the Lawrence fraternity. This study was performed utilizing the methods developed by Professor Lawrence and his colleague Professor F.I. Ripkin. Aforementioned means of study, although relentlessly denied by modern neurophysiology, were necessary to negate the known limitation of the national world, the rational worldview. The Lawrence method was, among other influences, based on the works of Marcel Grial, practical Tibetan Buddhism, you, and some practices of Kabbalah and modern Satanism. Could you do me a solid you and just zoom in on that? Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Oh. Uh, they cite some sources. Uh, part one. First, let us define what we mean by ultra-influencing works of any media. As we know, among centuries, a work of art it's like a video would essay. often surface. It, I think this is this is the this is Lawrence's YouTube video essay. Yeah, yeah. What's up, everybody? Today we're gonna make a tulpa. Father Lawrence here. Uh. The popularity and meaning of which would often go beyond its author's expectations and beliefs. Such item would oftentimes be extremely relatable or otherwise influential for almost each and every one of its consumers. After gathering enough popularity, the item would often act as though it had a mind of its own. Such behavior, although only seeming conscious, would almost always ensure the item's relative longevity and effectiveness in social manipulations. For obvious reasons, many individuals, mages, and secret orders have attempted to create and control such items with varying degrees of success. Where are the wizards? 
I need you to explain wizards before you explain th- memes to me, <laughs> sir. I know what a meme is. I didn't know there were wizards in the world. <laughs> With the growing spread of World Wide Web, the w- abbreviation have mm-hmm. taken many new forms. They now possess a generally lower lifespan. However, vary in effects much more than their predecessors. We may see ideas, zeitgeist reflections, infectious personalities, and so on. They all go under a generalized term. Meme. The memes are alive. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We must not confuse those with the orthodox social engineering tools, such as online propaganda. However, the two often go hand in hand. When not made by accident, the inherently occult requires a very specific process of creation and nurturing. As stated in many most outrageous and thus often closest to the truth conspiracy theories, the FBI are known to use them. This partly explains the recently uncovered Farm Fields Project. We, the fraternity of Lawrence, and I, W.A. Lawrence, personally aim to utilize the WAM for the good of humanity. I, myself, am willing to transcend the human condition in order... Classified. Classified. The method. Theoretical base. The naturally appearing human-created WAM are no rare phenomena. However, such methodology introduces severe limitations to the practice. Unpredictability. It's almost impossible to tell whether the new spheric imprints produced by humans have the qualities of a whim. Commonly, the main condition for such an imprint to acquire the expected infectiousness is patronage of an accordingly powerful new sphere dweller. Some artists and creators do indeed use certain in order to contact the dwellers. However, the results do not seem to show an increase in controllability and often lead to the complete annihilation of the author. Lack of control over whim. Due to the deity adopting and or temporarily inhabiting the man, its behavior remains at the whims of the new sphere dweller. As contact and control over the existing deities is out of the question, it's almost impossible to tell the ways in which the man life cycle will unravel. As a solution to these glaring problems, the Lawrence fraternity offers a method of manufacturing an artificial new sphere dweller, surrogate mother of controllable whims. The methodology was carefully extracted mainly from the works of Marcel Grial. So then, is this claiming Lila is a meme that came alive? She's an ultra influencing work of any medium. Yes, that's what it's sounding like. Like they they summoned her. Cause this is saying there's they're trying to create an artificial ultra influencing work of modern and there of of anywhere of any medium what is it of any media yeah and lila is I mean, she's certainly very influential Embriel was an africanist researching the life and mythology of the dogon people one of his most important discoveries was instrumental use of a certain family of mushrooms called tet hey, the, the dogon seem to have found a way to communicate with one of the more su- swazable su- higher class new sphere deities for security purposes we don't have to his real name and we refer to it as the snake, the eyes. snake eyes by modifying the traditional rituals of the <gasps> dogons we were able to develop a reliable process for creating our own artificial new sphere dweller wait a minute wait a minute remember I- remember when we got the daemon uh whatever that weird thing on the screen was that was like talking to us didn't it have snake eyes oh yeah after we I took thought it the called tip? itself snake eyes or, or maybe something, it did didn't okay it? uh i couldn't i can't remember yeah yeah yeah, yeah. okay Practical application and risks. As the newly created dweller needs a psychic base for its existence, we had to gather a group of people who, for the purpose of this experiment, were all told to create a tulpa with a predetermined appearance. While the brethren believed that the individual tulpas belonged to them and didn't have any way of contacting each other, the very starting conditions, same tulpa appearance, character, and the same meditation practices, have led to the birth of a psychic creature that persisted beyond their individual minds. From now on, the creature will be referred to as L. Hmm. Wow. Their combined vision of her character would form an ever-changing yet relatively lively new sphere dweller that was completely artificial in her nature. We were sure not to accidentally invite an ex- any existing archetypal deity into the process as it would introduce uncontrollable consequences. The existing archetypes are considered by far mo- most powerful and least controllable new sphere dwellers. History shows cases of large square, large scale calamities in- induced by trying to use the archetypes of the blah, for example. 
This is so due to their universality. The more people know about a dweller, the more characteristics as well as psychic energy it borrows. Thus, some archetypes which exist in every person's mind from birth should be kept completely out of the discussion. They would be way too powerful and unpredictable. Which leads me to believe that they inadvertently summoned an archetype that has existed mm. for a long time. Mm. Is what I'm being led to understand. I mean, by they this. do keep bringing up Lilith a lot, which yeah, 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 yeah. has existed. Maintenance the artificial for a very long time. Mm -hmm. The artificial dweller was created. We created was given vampiric behavioral qualities due to better controllability. We would have a means of stopping its activity almost instantly by cutting the source of nourishment. In order for L to exist. It needs a fixed amount of so-called psychic energy. In the more primitive times, the main way of releasing it was human sacrifice. As the human race developed ancient Egyptian ancient, as the human race developed, ancient Egyptians were first to acquire a sort of psychic accumulator. Instead of archaic human murder, they would use a more quantitative yet less powerful method of animal sacrifice. We utilize the same technique in order to feed L. For these reasons, the brethren have a functioning cattle critter farm. Emergency handling. In an unlikely scenario, we lose control over L. All the necessary steps of regaining it are described in the locked document on the main computer. The password for the document is first gold. Okay. The instructions regarding complete elimination of the artificial nude dweller <laughs> no. are present in the same no. file. No, <laughs> they did not make that typo. <laughs> Come on. Lila... I didn't know Lila was running around in the news. They did not make that typo. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. Con conclusion and achievements. As a result of our efforts, we were able to successfully implement a stable WAM pipeline. A detailed report on each created WAM. Their effectiveness, evaluation, and lifespans can be found. Bleh. Presented here are the more prominent items. Canceled. Of leg, bones. of leg bones. Some of the variants can still be found on secluded image boards. However, they seem to be lacking any of the initial psychic impulse, natural end of lifespan. Dead a dog, still active at the moment of this paper's release, is not L's child. A detailed report, among others, can be found. T, still active at the moment of this paper's release, first successful child of L. T has diverged from the expected meme format and was given a longer lifespan. Despite the significant raise in vitality due to the change in medium, T seems to have not amassed the required amount of blank. So T is, is this saying that Tanya, Tanya is? Yeah, is this saying Tanya is a meme? I mean, the concept of meme isn't like just images that make us go ha ha on the internet, you know? Right, but they're saying that Tanya is a created thing from other people's Psyche, consciousness yeah. thinking about so they thought about oh, Lila oh. and then Lila branched off into Tanya P P sorry people are saying that T is actually a reference to T uh, to the previous game made by Garage Heathen the developer of this uh, which is like a Tamagotchi gotcha parody that also Here. deals with a lot of the same like uh philosophical questions that this game raises. gotcha t gotcha okay cool cool okay well so first gold right we got we got first gold all right so let's Let me make put that screen. in there. there we go and all right are we back? We're back in the video game. That was a fun little reading we did, folks. Oh, great. Oh, boy. I can read this. More reading. It's the remainder of the document you've read before. Emergency handling. In an unlikely case of L going out of control, it's... It's useless trying to regain control. Kill her. Yes, you've read correctly, Fuck. my dear William. Lila needs to be no more. The only way to stop her existence is by... is by getting rid of all her hosts. Anybody who has ever come in contact with her is a potential host. After all, if nobody knows about her, she can feed off their energy. 
but without human hosts, she can't do anything. She is a construct of thought, unable to live independently of people's knowledge of her. Remember that, Will. Hey. Hey, Will. I don't think You're this not game ends well for Will. <laughs> well, no, I was going to say, Will, you're not going to come out of the video game, are you? <laughs> you're not, you're not going to do that? You're not going to come out of the video game and try and get me? Right, buddy? All right, I think we actually just have to leave now. Okay. <laughs> Howdy. <laughs> Howdy. I'm Special Agent Arnold Hill. William Clark, correct? Please, come with us, would you? There's a snake in my boot. <laughs> oh. All right. Okay. Let's talk to you. Okay. <sighs> Boom. <clears throat> so, uh, Hierophant. Will has come a long way to learn the truth behind the fraternity, didn't he? Yeah, right. A lot of hoop jumping just to learn what I could already have told him myself. By the way, you, that fire was your men's job, wasn't it? Yes. It was us. Obviously. No, I thought it was you. <laughs> Got me, Lila. Very good. Obviously, Lawrence was aware of the FBI knowing of the UIWAM. Moreover, we have been utilizing them more proactively for the last 10 or 15 years. We were a bit late with that fire, though. Now, Lawrence is in a place where there is no time at all. So it was you lot who stole all my food. So, okay, so... Yu's intention was to kill everybody uh -huh. so that Lila, Lila would die. Was gone. Yeah. But then. Yeah, no, you're asking a question. Knows. You're asking an important question here. So he would also have to die. Yeah, we're, uh, you're asking important questions here. Yeah. He called Lawrence when I was asleep. I know. What did they talk about? Did he read what was in the secret file? Come on, detective. You know I'm curious. What was written there? I'm not sure if you're playing with me here, Lila. You... You are a haze, composed of many human minds intersecting. A construct of thoughts of many hosts. Wait. How do you... As long as there are humans who know about you, as long as you have hosts, you can't be killed. So, are you going to just... There... There doesn't seem to be a different way to do it. I... I'm so sorry, I... Uh... Yeah, you're in control of this, aren't you? Yeah. What do you do? I don't think there's a whole lot I can do. The fact that William's just fucking smiling at you. Oh, it closed the game? Whoa. Whoa. Open the game back up, baby. I love, man. When when indie games do that shit, Chef's Kiss. I love it.
Okay, I don't think anything's changed. Uh, hold the phone. Uh, go, go back to Yu's office. Okay. Uh... <laughs> oh. Oh, God. I'm so sorry, Will. It's never that simple, is it, Detective? You... You tricked me, Lila. Your sorrow is exquisite, Detective. I haven't had such a feast in a while. If I knew just how rich your pain was, I'd never even bother to inhabit William. <laughs> you are horrible, Lila. Well, that's a harsh thing to say. At least I'm not the one to kill an innocent boy, Detective. You need to leave. I... I need a moment. Oh, uh, debug log. Missing header at U end part two. What the fuck is happening? If it's easier to understand that way, an identity is like a piece of semi-transparent film. It lies in a ray of light, so the light thinks it's that piece of film. Doesn't the light itself want to know what it is? I know. I know I want to know what light is. Neither the film nor the light want things. It's just written on the film. I want to know what light is. I don't get it. It's like when reading a book. On their own, the characters are just a bunch of symbols. But your attention makes them kind of alive. It's as if they borrow your mind as simulation space to play out their consciousness. Consciousnesses. It's like a wind-powered walking machine. Your attention makes it move and act as a living thing, but when it's still, it loses its meaning. Wait, so you, on the other hand, you are, compo you are composed of an intersection of many rays of attention, aren't you? Very good, yes. But even if I were to get rid of all of them, you wouldn't disappear. Why? Well, I guess. I can just straight up tell you. No. No! Fuck no! Sometimes a piece of film is designed in such a way that when catching the light of attention once, it tries to do every little thing to keep it to itself. It creates mazes and unbelievable fractals of mystery. You see, the beauty of it is, its structure is not random. There's always an underlying logic and a single correct interpretation of its narrative. But is it even obtainable at this point? I don't know. This piece is always designed to be just about explainable. But small contradictions and unspoken details usually prevent the full picture from being formed. So, what was it all to... Yes. Yes. So this... must be the most vile... and the last trick of them all. And that's the video game! Oh, boy! Ow, I hit my hand. Kind of hard. <laughs> Don't worry, Zach. We'll stop perceiving you so that your hand doesn't hurt anymore. Oh, that's how that works. <sighs> oh.
Okay. Uh huh. The I will say. The ending, that last thing, kind of stumped me. I don't know exactly what it was talking about. So. Cause she made she I, I I guess I just don't know what the secret she told him is. And you don't know. Okay, so the point is that is the point is not to know. Yeah, essentially. Um, okay, cool. It is it is a little. It can be frustrating in not knowing, uh, but I think it's still kind of a. Which I, I'm I'm fine with that. I just want to make sure I'm not missing something. Mm -hmm. That like I'm fine with a thing where it's like, oh, there's a there's a mystery that is just kind of beyond the scope of the game. I'm fine with that as long as it's not like, no, you should know what the secret she whispered to him is. Uh, Soul Phoenix says you should search up UN Part Two and read it. Is that a readable thing? Is it in the game files or uh, is it? Oh, okay, on okay. Uh, or, uh, it's it's you have to data mine this. So here we go. It says. Uh, how do I do that? Oh no, I, I'll just I'll just read this. Actually, here I can show it on screen. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, UN Part Two. No. My nature is exactly this. I am all this. No smile. I am not a tulpa. Not the mother of a UIWAM, not even Lilith or an archetype, and yet I am all those things. I am the mystery of not knowing who Lila is. As long as the one playing this game doesn't understand what I am, I will remain alive in their mind. I am the mystery itself. I was designed in a way that makes me just about explainable, but at the end of the day, I am no more than a simple question. Who is Lila? Okay. That makes it pretty good. Yeah. 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 It's it's yeah, so yeah. so as long as, you know, three years down the I mean line, they gave you the You might be they like, gave you the answer. Who is Lila? That's a cool game. And and it also yeah. kinda makes it kinda makes me sad that I that I did read that a little bit, because it takes away the kind of thing from it, but Yeah. The mystery of not knowing and thinking about the mystery or anything like that. Uh, yeah. Steffi goes as yeah, well, lives rent free in your head, which, yeah. Yeah. It's good. It's good ass shit. Yeah. That's we some of that. That's we, some of that heady, we that did, heady shit. We did, in, we did, in fact, have to kill Will to get that, which kind of sucks. Uh. <laughs> now, I'm curious just. One more time, what happens if you go into his office? Oh, yeah. Lila, yeah. Oh, you're here. What do you want? We've told you the story as well as we could, and there isn't much left to see. Are you here to hunt for secrets? That may be somewhat fruitful. That may be a somewhat fruitful endeavor, I guess. But there isn't much point in us anymore, is there? This construct we have built, it has served its purpose. By performing its main function, the system has inevitably ruined itself. That's not a bad thing. After all, its purpose was to inject us into you. Now we may live on, unconstricted by the time you decide to give to this. Anyway, if you're here for a recap, please help yourself. So if you pick one, is it still him talking to Lila now? Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, it's, it's still her. Okay! One mystery we never solved. Who the fuck was the stranger? Okay, that's also never explained. <laughs> Who the fuck is that guy? Uh, yeah. Let me pull up what the the wiki says on the stranger. Because uh, I, yeah. I was reading a lot about this. Um, yeah, I need to know who that guy is. Ba -ba 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 -bum. Um, See, I get who Lila is. Now, mm -hmm. I don't get who that guy is. 
a uh, little can be gleaned about the stranger's personality since he has very little dialogue in the game. However, it's shown that he is obedient to Lila, saying whatever she tells him to and not hesitating to kill Tanya at her request. He never shows any emotions, given the impression that he's quite cold-blooded. There are many theories about his identity since his nature is never explicitly explained in the game. Uh, then we get, like, what happens in the game. Um, blah, 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 blah. Strangers can be encountered in the field of trivia. Playing certain songs on the stereo at the party can cause the stranger to give cryptic responses to them. That's kind of fun. Uh, there is a lack of strong consensus in the community about what gender, gender the stranger is due to his androgynous appearance. Detective View and the Emperor reverse narration both refer to him with masculine pronouns. That's what the wiki uses. Uh, stranger speaks at the end of the moon. The text is accompanied with, by a robotic voice. Note that it is different from the robotic voice that accompanies William's dialogue during the Wheel of Fortune, which sounds as though it is a real human's voice that has been edited. On the other hand, the stranger's voice sounds completely synthetic. The stranger was at least partially inspired by the mystery man from David Lynch's Lost Highway. Uh, with the OST DLC, it unlocks another reference. Either LOP Phone or LOP Phone Far are played. He says, in fact, I'm there right now. A direct quote from Mystery Man. He's also inspired by The King in Yellow by Robert W. Chambers when asking William, which is William is the wheel. Uh, that's what he, they, the fandom calls him, which is very funny. <laughs> I like William. Yeah, William, it has his own yeah. Wikipedia page, which is amazing. Um, he <laughs> will respond with a quote from The King in Yellow, in which there's a character known as The Stranger as well. The quote in question is, you, sh you, sir, should unmask. Indeed, indeed, it is time. We have all laid aside our disguise but you. I wear no mask. No mask? No mask? This is actually a string of lines from a few separate characters, two of which have removed their masks and an asked there to join them in removing his mask. He then explains that he has no mask at the horror of the two other characters. Um, yeah. Okay, so yeah, literally we don't know who that is. Yeah, he is, it is never explained in the game, but is likely some sort of extension of William's psyche. Uh, their faces are quite different. During his appearance in the Emperor Reversed, the narration describes him as follows, a sort of statue of sorts. It looks familiar. It looks so familiar. It, it may be made of wax, so lifelike it is. Does it talk? It looks so familiar. His face is like a mirror, isn't it? You cannot help but gaze at it. I hate the face without the filters, though. It's really spooky. Yeah. Um, yeah. There are many theories about his identity since his nature is never explicitly explained in game. I mean, if I if I had to take a stab in the dark, I would just say, yeah, he's probably the stranger is probably William when he is out of the gaze of. It could, it could be like William when he's out of the gaze of the prince or something. Yeah, uh, Grace in the chat says my theory is that he is the prince slash the being observing the body where Lila, Will and Lila are. I think I think there's something yeah. there in a way. It, it definitely feels because I think the stranger shows the first time you see the stranger is like when you remove the reels or something like that. Um, so I think there's something there of like kind of a husk. Or like a, just like a third party or something. But very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very cool, cool game. Yeah. Very cool Who's game. Lila? That is going to do it for Who's Lila? Uh, let us, actually, that's a great jumping off point. Let us know in the comments down below what you think The Stranger is. And what you think about this yeah. game. And how now you're possessed by Lila, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, until you forget about her, she's going to be with you uh -huh. forever. Uh-huh. Uh, and hey, if you have other games uh, that you'd like for us to play, I would super be down to do uh, stuff like this, because I think it's really fun. <laughs> I think it's really fun to do uh, kind of spooky games with you, Wes. I think it's 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 a good, it's good, yeah. fun. It's good, good fun thing. And hey, uh, literally next month is October, so... Spooky. Uh, until whenever we play a spooky game right. next, uh, we're excited to see you there. But stick around for art because I'm a tulpa, actually. I've been a tulpa this whole time. Saving a team? All tulpas. All tulpas all the time.
Well, starting off art this week, Pegafin with I Actually Have a Tulpa. I made her junior year of college after hearing about them on an episode of Adventure Time while recovering from strep. Probably one of the best decisions I ever made. Anyway, here's a dramatic reenactment of her popping out every time someone said Tulpa on the last stream. It's sort of a thing that happens. Her name is Ciara. Uh, genuinely, after reading about <laughs> Tulpas more in my own times after first hearing about this game, I think it's a very interesting concept. Obviously, this game makes it very yeah. scary. Uh, but it doesn't have to be, uh, and that's yeah. cool that you you also, yo. If I could make this cool little creature pop up anytime, I was awesome. I love that. It's <laughs> scrungling. Yeah. Uh, Reaper with hi with my art. I have an unfun fact for you: the death and disappearance of Tanya Kennedy actually mirrors a real life case: the murder of Lauren Giddings. Their killers. Killing, disposal, discovery, and then even how the killers were found out were similar. I think this might be more than a coincidence because the game's references to internet culture. Yeah, no, 100%. There's a pretty infamous clip of Lauren's killer during a news interview saying she was a good person. Lauren wasn't believed to be dead at this point. And, oh, shit. Damn. That's crazy. Uh, but this is very, very good. The William looking at the the mirror with the Lila in the, in the mirror. Uh and the stranger i like drawing them all the faces very very cool also 10 out of 10 uh -huh. this drawing is in scrundle palette <laughs> yeah yeah that's amazing <laughs> pet on guard with ola uh i have this little drawing i made today it was supposed to look better but oh shut up your yard's great man uh the paper is crumbled because i have a, i've had a shitty day so far well hey uh, I think aesthetically drawing on crumpled paper looks really cool. So, uh, I like the texture that it gives this art a lot. Yeah. I like the shading you drew on this. Uh, very, very cool. Also, in Scrundle palette. I can't stress enough yeah. how much I love that people are just using this <laughs> blue shade. <laughs> Incredible. Uh, Pegafin with some facts about Sierra. Uh, she's... Oh, she's almost but not quite scrundle blue. That's amazing. Wow. I made sure to very, very explicitly design her not to be evil. That's really amazing. Nice. Uh, <laughs> pictured Sierra's super prim and proper and dignified reaction to the scrundling. <laughs> I hope that I hope that Sierra went nice. <laughs> amazing. Uh, panic pang with my boy Will. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think they'd pity you. No, they fucking don't. <clears throat> I mean, no, they don't. <laughs> Very good. And yes, you put the, the little blush marks that I did. <laughs> I... Uh, That's really funny. That's what I'm, I'm going to fucking do that bit again in other video games. Because it's very easy to just pop those up on screen. <laughs> uh, incredible, incredible. Actually, if I move them both oh together, nice. I can fucking put them on my own face. Yeah. Now I'm blushing. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I just have to not move my head ever. Eric Bennington with uh, fan art of our boy Jachin. <laughs> Jachin. Uh, fun fact about Jachin, it's one of the two pillars of Solomon's Temple, Boaz and Jachin, both of which appear in the High Priestess Tarot card, which is the ending card you get when you leave Lila's Realm, the projector in the forest. I was going to say, there was two pillars on the side, one had a J and one had a B. Um, yeah, yeah, very, very cool. I love the, uh, again, like all the monochromatic uh, art that y'all have sent in of this. Uh, and, and yeah, I think this is like easily one of the more striking like scenes in the game. Uh, and this looks very cool. Chrono Wizard with some Scrundle sketches. <laughs> I wanted to draw Damon, but I realized Wes was freaked out by Damon, so I made them into a waifu. Also, I started playing yeah! Persona 3, so I got inspired. <laughs> yeah! Fuck yeah. Incredible. <laughs> Still one of our <laughs> Femme Damon Emperor's Servitor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, why did you write? Look at the diary table. Did you write about me? <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Uh, hilarious. Uh, who's Lila? Gina. That's fucking very cool. Ooh. The pose of that. 
Uh, <laughs> William's face in the top right. <laughs> oh, as Father Will you Will check, you check the, the demon, demon lately? The memes. <laughs> <laughs> Where have I already told you I am Lila? Uh, is that... Oh, th there might or is be that Mike Meekins. Meekins? It's Meekins. It's 100% <laughs> Do not Meekins. worry, sir. I am also not one being. <laughs> oh, God. That's really good. Yeah, what if fucking Mike oh, Meekins my walked in that fucking... Uh, <laughs> does, that, does that mean that fucking, that fucking... Does that mean fucking Luke at me is a tulpa? Oh, my God. Mm, that's pretty good. <laughs> Do not worry. Uh, Lila's a bitch is who she is. <laughs> I feel uncomfortable when we are not about me. <laughs> That's good. That's a really good tweet. <laughs> uh, TK, with try to do this so fast, uh, as fast as I could, but unfortunately I couldn't get to draw as many expressions as I wanted, but I made sure to include Catboy Will. Wes made so many good faces for this finale, and here's the screenshot I took, I took of my faves as a bonus. Really glad you guys played this game. It's very dear to me, so in a way I'd like to thank that one tree for falling on Pridge's power lines. That's true, yeah. actually. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. If Everyone thank the, tr the tree that fell on Pridge's... <laughs> Wow, that's so true. If that didn't happen, we would have just played Ace Attorney that week. Yeah. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> uh, and yeah, this is so good. All, like scrolling through all the different faces, the animation's really cute. Uh, and the Catboy <laughs> Will in there is so good. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> god damn. That's so funny. There's some good ones. Uh huh. I think my, I think my favorite's probably. Honestly, there's just something so beautiful about the simplicity of the one that's the red one. Mm -hmm. Just the. Uh... I think I think the one to the right of it, uh, the like super shit eating grin smile is really funny yeah. to me. <laughs> uh, it's it's so good. Uh, but we'll see you. Whenever you tune in next time, have a good night. Bye, everybody.